G'day. How many of you remember May the 1st, 1994? It was a Sunday. It was the San Marino Grand Prix right here in Imola. And on lap seven, we lost one of the greats of F1, Ayrton Senna. Let me quickly recap what happened on that day. Ayrton, in a Williams, is doing 191 miles an hour when he leaves the track at Tamborella, which is a sweeping left-hander. He collides with the concrete barrier at 145 miles an hour, and then his momentum takes him another 200 or so meters along the track where he stops and sits motionless in the car. The race was instantly stopped. The doctors and medical team attended to him very quickly, and in the end, he was flown by helicopter to the Bologna Hospital, where a short time later, he was pronounced dead. So today, how is Ayrton Senna remembered? For a start, the main grandstand is named after him, Tribuna Ayrton Senna. But I think more of you would be familiar with the monument that's out at the Tamborello corner. So where is the monument, you ask? Well, it's on the inside of the corner. But the good thing is, you don't need to go into the circuit. It's in the middle of a park, so you can park your car three to 400 meters away, and there's a walk clearly signposted, or if you have a bike, you could ride. And if you're worried that you'll miss it, you won't, because what will give it away in advance are all the colorful flags that are posted on the fence on the inside of the Tamborello corner. Now, if you go back a couple of hundred meters along the track, and by the way, you can stand there and look across the track, you'll see this sign on the outside of the corner, and that denotes the point of impact. Now I should say that the track has been significantly changed since the accident in 94. It now has a chicane where once it was simply a long left-handed sweeper. But it's fair to say that people make a pilgrimage to go and have a look at this monument. It stands about two metres high and is the work of artist Stefano Pierotti. It was made in Italy and it was inaugurated on the 26th of April 1997. And when you go there, if you are lucky enough to get to go there, you will almost certainly find that somebody's put flowers in his hands. And to the touch, the statue is cold on a cold day, and it has all sorts of detail um, around the statue in the bottom sections, which you can clearly see here is quite magnificent work. On the monument, there's an engraving, uh, words of Ayrton Senna, I think I'm very far from a way of life that I would like but it's perhaps the flags and the pictures along the fence that are of most interest because they change over time. New pieces are added, old pieces just outrun their life and uh, decay. Each piece tells a story and they're from all over the world.
course, it shouldn't be forgotten that the day prior to Ayrton's death, Roland Ratzenberger died in qualifying, and the grandstand at the corner he died has been named after him, and there's a much smaller tribute on the fence at that corner. If you're at the airport and your flight gets cancelled, forget about standing in a queue with 10 or 20 people in front of you. It'll be ages before the problem's solved. Instead, get straight onto their call centre and book another flight that way. You'll jump the queue and get the result you're after quickly. I'd like to say that I photographed Ayrton and Roland in my time, but I didn't. Well, actually I did. I took one photo of Ayrton Centre when I was a guest at a corporate suite in Adelaide. Oh, I can't even tell you what year it was. But this is my only picture of him. On my way to the track earlier today, I had to walk through the heart of town and I was really taken by these beautiful pieces of art. They span a length of about 100 metres and include some of the greats of Formula One racing. And I'm interested to know perhaps from a local if these are up all year or just for Grand Prix. They look great though. I like Imola. I've only been here for a day and I'm looking forward to getting back to the track on Thursday to shoot media day and then shooting the cars on track Friday, Saturday and of course Sunday race 2 of 2021. Please like this video if you've liked it and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'd welcome your subscription. We're now over 87,000. Thank you to you all. You'll find my best picks at ProStar Picks. You can download them digitally. My F1 driver books, they're available from kimillman.com. Send them to almost anywhere in the world. And for my best picks live from the track, seconds after they've been taken, head to Instagram and search at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. On the monument, on your monument, on the monument, on your 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 monument, on your